Byrne. You know, I worked with a guy named Byrne once. No, no joke in the radio business. Anyways, the old coot here coming at you with another exciting video. This is the Burn tire inflator. I haven't done any pre-prep work on this. I want to see how intuitive this thing is to use without looking at the instructional manual or anything. Anyways, here's what the box looks like, the outer box, if you want to go ahead and take a look. So here's basically what you're getting. Tire inflator, it's portable. You kind of get the idea. Here's the different uses, right? Bicycle, motorcycle, car, basketball or sports or soccer ball, or whatever. Football, as the Europeans call it and the Latin Americans just saying, maybe 99% of the world except America. I don't know why we call it soccer. Maybe if you know, hey, that's a good question. If you know, comment in the comment section down there below why it's called soccer in the United States. Anyways, portable tire inflator. There you go. Burn portable tire inflator. Five modes, four measurement units. So you can switch between the units. Built-in digital tire gauge. So basically, you tell it the temperature you want to inflate to or tell it the pressure, PSI, or the bar or whatever that you want to inflate to, it goes to that point and then it stops, which is kind of cool. USB charging cable, you get the air hose, you get the storage bag, specifications. There's max PSI, 150. Oh my God, 150 pounds per square inch. That's a lot of pressure. Just saying, the intense pressure. Okay, so then max airflow output. There you go. Product size, you kind of get the idea. Then there's your product weight. It's it's half of a kilogram, which is basically like a pound, right? A little over a pound, something like that. Then I have to I have to scratch my nose because my nose is bothering me. Okay, so there we go. Model number P002, 50 watts of power, 5 volt, 2 amp. You get the idea, battery capacity. Hopefully the barcode on yours matches the barcode. That's one that you see in this video. Anyways, let's take a look at the backside of water. There's that part. There's that. There you go. Tire inflator. That's what that says. That's what that says. We already saw. Okay. So now the bag, it comes in a nice, like little velvety velour kind of a bag with two little cinch straps there. You can just kind of cinch it down. You know, it's good quality for what it is. It's a bag. You keep it in there, keep it in your backpack or whatever, however you're going to store this in your car. Here is the instructional manual. Let's just take a quick look here. I don't want to cheat too much, but kind of, oh, you get pictures instead of illustrations. So there's actually a photo in there letting you know product parameter instructions. If you want to go ahead and read through all that, take a screenshot, do whatever you got to do. Press the blah, blah, blah key. So there you go. Inflatable pump instructions. So there's that. Then here's the backside of the thing. Power switch, mode switch, unit switch, setting valve adjustment. You kind of get the idea. And then here's the backside so you can kind of see what's in there. This is all in English, I believe. So common problem, that's good to know. Inaccurate air pressure, it's letting you know what's going on if the machine is not working. Make sure you charge it. That's very, very important. Conversion of inflation. There you go. So that's what the equal... You know, one kilogram, you get, yeah, anyways, you can kind of figure the math there out. Okay, so then LED lighting, this product does have an LED light, which is cool features, precautions, you kind of get the idea, special phenomenon, inflation pressure of balloons, toy balls, swimming rings, other products below the range, inflatable points, so you, you kind of get the idea of what's going on. Okay, enough of that. Let's take a look at the unit itself. Where's the hose? Oh, where's the hose? I don't know. Maybe it's down here. Okay, cool. So here's how the hose works. You give it a shake, right? It pops out and then basically you pull it out the rest of the way. How cool is that that it has its own little storage compartment within the actual unit so that you never lose the hose, right? So that's kind of cool. Here's what the end looks like. This is the end that goes to your tire or whatever it is that you're trying to inflate. It does have a screw on part, right? So you can screw that onto whatever you need to screw it onto. That way you're not sitting there holding it the whole time. This hose does get hot, right? Which is this part right here, because remember you're compressing air into something that compression causes heat. So keep that in mind. You do get two LED lights, which is kind of cool. USB-C, you know, if only this thing came with a charging cable. Oh, but wait, it does. <laughs> there you go. You do get the charging cable. This goes into your like typical cell phone charger thingamajiggy, or if you have a USB port, you can plug that in. And then here's your USB-C, which then plugs into there, boom. And that's how you charge it up. So you kind of get the idea. Here's all the attachments. I believe this is the Presta valve attachment. Is that what that is? I'm kind of discovering this as I go, because I'm not a Presta valve kind of a person, but you do have an O-ring in there. You do have a thingamajigger. So you kind of get the idea. This would be for like your larger jobs, I guess, if you want to inflate something that has more of like 
you know, a bigger size opening. This would be for like an air mattress, that kind of vibe. This would be for your soccer ball, right? Why do we call it soccer in the United States? Like I said, comment below in the comment section as opposed to football, which is what everybody else calls it around the rest of the world. 99999999% of the world. Conjunction, junction, what's your function? You get the idea. And then why do we call it football, like our football, but then in the rest of the world is called, I don't know. Anyways, you can, football Americano, I think is what they call it in other countries. Anyways, with that being said, let's light this puppy up. Okay, so it does come with this protective coating thingamajiggy. I'm assuming this is the power button, so I'm going to press and hold, which is how most of these things usually go. Let's see. There it goes. Okay, so now it's on. And then there you go. There's PSI. There's car. And then if I remove this plastic coating here, which I'm going to do on this video just so we can see what's going on. Let's take a look at what we have here. So you have plus or minus top to bottom. Then I'm assuming this is the units. The U is the unit, right? To change from bar to KPA to whatever. There's your PSI. And then here is your M, which is the mode. So that was car, motorcycle. This is bicycle, basketball. So you kind of have four different modes you can go with. There isn't a like do it yourself kind of mode where you can just do a kind of pressure. And I believe that has to do with the computer software that's in there and the microchip that kind of regulates like how much torque it needs to put out to inflate something that's heavier, like say a car or something that's lighter, like a motorcycle or, or lighter still. It's a bicycle or a basketball. You get the idea. So right now it's set to APSI. Let's see if I go to like, you can go down, right? Which should be down. Whoops. There you go. There's six. There's five. Let's see if we change the mode, what the designation is. So that would be like, let's see if it goes. So it goes in one pound increments. So you don't have half pounds. It only goes in one pound increments. Let's try maybe on something like a bicycle. Let's see if it'll let you go half pounds here. So there's 50, 49. So you can only go in one pound increments. So keep that in mind with this unit. So then basically to turn it on, let's turn it on. It's going to get really loud here. That is loud, louder than some of the other ones that I've reviewed in the past, like other brands I'm not going to mention. But anyways, it is pretty loud. That means I guess it's more powerful. I don't know. Anyways, that's what's basically going on. So basically you turn it on. And then now to get the light on, <laughs> let's see how that works. Let me try to press and hold the power button. Let's see if that works. No, that just shuts it off. Let's turn it back on again. Sometimes it's the unit button. I just want to make sure I'm getting an accurate... Let's see, is it the unit button? There we go. So when you press and hold the unit button, the lights turn on. So you get two LED lights and then to turn them off, I'm assuming you press and hold the unit button again and they go off. Okay, so that's how that works. And then to shut the unit off itself, you just push the off, the power button again, press and hold and it shuts off and there you go. So that is the burn. I think I'm born. I think it's burn. That's how I'm pronouncing it. That is a recap review of this unit. In an emergency situation, it is literally worth its weight in gold because you can always use this to inflate your tires. That's where the hole for the hose is, right? So when you want to see that it's in there or not or whatever, and basically there's just a little 360 view of the unit itself just to kind of see. It does have nice holes here for aeration to get some airflow in there as well, so it's kind of cool. Anyways, if you do like what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below. I will put a link to this down in the description, so make sure to check that out. I'm the old coot, and I will catch you all on the next exciting video review.